Welcome to J.M. Haynes' Parent Education Reads. Today, I want to read the story by Bob Shea and illustrated by Lane Smith called Big Plans. And you may know Bob Shea from uh, Unicorn Thinks He's Pretty, Dinosaur vs. The Library, and Lane Smith, you may know from the real true story of The Three Little Pigs. And he's also the only illustrator to illustrate a book other than Dr. Seuss. So that is quite an accomplishment. And it, this story, Big Plans, is about a boy who gets in trouble. But he's got plans. So I wonder, do you have plans? What do you want to do? Let's see what he does. And we notice right away that he's facing the wall. That's never a good sign. The entire world will know of my big plans. And on this chalkboard, teachers don't usually do it now, but they used to have kids that weren't doing the right thing right on the chalkboard. I will not roll my eyes. I will not scheme in class. What I say does not go. I am not the boss of the class. I will not laugh when others speak. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. I will not prove the teacher wrong. Plans so big, I'll need Dad's shiniest tie and fanciest shoes. Then I'll climb atop the highest hill in town and shout. I got big plans. Big plans, I say. On the way down, I'll meet a minor bird. Hey bird, have you heard? I got me some big plans. Big plans, I say. What's it gonna be, bird? In or out? I'm in, says the minor bird. Okay then, onward, bird. There, there, a city as big as my plans. Come on, bird, time to talk turkey. Get down to business. Go straight to the top. I'm in, says the minor bird. Listen up, big shots. Big wigs and muckety mucks. What am I dressed for, I'll ask. Success, they'll yell. And what do clothes make, I'll ask. The man, they'll answer. Then it should come as no surprise when I say, I got big plans. Big plans, I say. I'm in, says the minor bird. You, take a memo. You, hold my calls. You. Ready my helicopter. Do you notice something the same about all of these guys? He's got big plans, big plans, he says. They'll cheer as we take off. We won't hear them because helicopters are very loud. Hey bird, isn't that the local sports team losing to the out-of-towners? This is not in the plans, I'll say. Big plans, I say. Let's land this bird, bird.
With seconds left to play, we land, join the team, teach the bird football, and grab a hot dog. Then that minor bird throws a perfect game-winning pass, which I catch perfectly. The frenzied fans whisk us from the field, shouting, He's got big plans, big plans, he says. And what does that minor bird say? I'm in. We declare you the new mayor, declares the crowd. What about the old mayor, I'll ask. I'm not the one with the big plans, he'll say. If my shirt had sleeves, I'd roll them up. You dig a hole. You build a school. What's under that skunk? Uh-oh. I don't know if I'd look under a skunk if I was him. A quarter? Why, this skunk is lucky. Hey, minor bird, meet my new stinky lucky hat. Stinky luck, I say. I'm in, says the minor bird. Now, where was I? Where was I? Oh yes, big plans, big plans, I say. You, paint the town red. Paint it red, I say. This is the part where my cell phone will ring. Bring, says the cell phone. Hello, hello, I'll say. That's obviously not a smartphone. Hi. I'm the president. I heard you got some big plans. How would you like to be assistant president? He'll say. What? Maybe you didn't hear exactly how big my plans are. Big enough to be president, president, I'll say. But that's my job, he'll say. Look, are you a naysayer, I'll say. Do you say nay, I say. Uh, no. He'll say, then it's settled, I'll say. You're third in charge, reporting directly to the minor bird. I'd slam the phone down dramatically, but it's a cell phone. As president, president, I'll get to be on TV. Listen up, states. I got big plans. Big plans, I say. Is that what you think the president's office looks like? Pennsylvania, build a rocket ship. Idaho, make some spacesuits using the latest potato technology. Missouri, Cheer up! You're bringing me down! I think those are the St. Louis arches. Very famous. The rest of you mill about. Mill about, I say. When my rocket is ready and Missouri is happy, Bird Hat and I will blast off into uncertainty. Or to the moon, whichever. Once we land, it's straight to work. Move that rock. Shine this one. Shift that one left. Other left, I say. Hurry, hurry. Air is low. Low, I say. To the ship. To the ship, I say. Who's doing all the work? Yeah, the minor bird. But he's very good at directing. As soon as we're safely on the ship, I will summon my remaining strength to tell that hat and bird, I got big plans, big plans, I say. I'm in, the exhausted bird will say. Stay with me, bird, I'll say. As we race back to Earth, we will turn to the moon. There in the night, sky for all to see, it will say. I got big plans, big plans, I say.
and then the entire world will know of my big plans. So, I don't know whether you're reading this uh, just during the day or maybe you're getting ready for bed uh, and you're listening to a story. But if you are getting ready for bed, maybe tomorrow you can write down what your big plans are. And if you're taking a time out from the day to kind of listen to a story, maybe you could take some time right now if mom and dad or grandma or grandpa or whomever you're with, maybe you can write down or say what your big plans are. What would you like to do? Thank you for joining us. Check back soon.